All right, guys, I was going to do a video on how to replace this Schlage lock. Um, the only issue is I moved the tripod one time and it shut off the video. So the actual process of getting this new lock in, five, 10 minutes, super easy. So I'm gonna walk you through it, uh, but more importantly, I wanna talk about the quality of this lock. It's somewhat expensive. It's, I think it's around 100, maybe even more on Amazon. It's real heavy. Um, and this is the second one I've had and why I have this one, you can tell these two numbers popped out. So I've had this, I want to say about two and a half years. Now this is exposed directly to the weather. So this is an outside facing door on my garage. Uh, it's the main entrance door and it just faces out into the wilderness. So you can see, oops, as far as wear and tear, some of these buttons are starting to crack. Uh, they're still completely serviceable. More importantly, the one in the six fell out. Um, and I guess th this feels like it's one continuous pad underneath the lock. Maybe I could pull it apart. I probably could pull it apart and tell you. Maybe I'll do that in a minute. Um, but I think these numbers separated off and pulled out of the continuous pad. So I sent an email to Schlage um, and they said, okay, it took them a couple days to respond. I didn't expect a response, but this said it had a three year warranty. So I was like, you know what? I'll give it a shot. It's a pretty expensive lock. They responded, said, hey, sorry you're having trouble with it. Shoot us a couple pictures of the damage, which is these two missing keys. And then your, they wanted this, um, your serial number, um, your programming code. And I'm okay showing this because this is the old lock. I'm just gonna throw it away. Um, so don't have to worry about anybody figuring out where I live. Um, but they had shipped a replacement out. It came, whoop, well now it's definitely broken. It came within a week. So really, really great customer service, better than I expected. Uh, three year warranty on this. Now for electronics, that seems pretty long to me. You know, a lot of them will have a year warranty, um, but a three year warranty on this, I thought was great. So why do I like this lock? I, my, my house is in the middle of our farm, okay? So if you wanna look, my dad's house is way over that way. He farms, well, way, way over that way. Um, so we're really in the middle of the farm. So if he has an issue with equipment, instead of going all the way to one side of the farm or the other, he, this is sort of a middle point. If he needs to use the air compressor right here, if he needs WD-40 or starting fluid right there. So it's really convenient for him, for him to be able to come in, just grab tools, grab whatever he needs. Um, he has his own code programmed in here. So I have his code that he knows programmed right there. Instead of having to memorize one I set up, he can get in here at any time. Um, my father-in-law, they'll fly up from Florida, hang out for a week. Uh, my father-in-law, a lot of times will use his vacation to come up here. He'll do projects. Uh, he's redone our steps. He actually reframed this door. Um, he doesn't like painting, but he, he's a, he's a pretty handy guy. Uh, he put lattice on the porch. So he has his own code programmed in that he'll remember. He doesn't have to text me while I'm working or ask my wife, hey, what's the code to the garage? Not that big of an inconvenience, but it's easy for him to go in and just punch in the code that he knows because it's the same code that is uh, his garage door code at home. So the versatility is amazing. Um, I, I love this lock. The fact that it wore out in two and a half years, eh, if I, let's say it wears out every two and a half, three years and I get a free one, Okay, so now my average cost per lock is 50 bucks. Uh, the convenience alone is worth 50 bucks a year, let alone 50 bucks for maybe six years. If I have to buy another one, I would. Um, I don't know why they're so expensive. Maybe the electronics programming is a little more complicated than I thought, but awesome, awesome lock. Um, to get it off and on, super simple. So this is what I was trying to record. You got two Phillips screws on the inside of the door. This whole canister pulls off. Um, got it right here. So I actually might save this. I will probably never use it. Maybe I won't save it. That's just, that's that's hoarder mentality. Um, that's why there's junk all over the farm. So I'll probably throw it out. But this goes sits right on there. Now inside of this, there's a backing plate. So your backing plate sits right here. It holds your uh, nine volt battery right here. This actually comes with a Duracell nine volt battery. I brought out my store cells. These things are sweet by the way, side tangent. Uh, these are awesome stocking stuffers. I have multiple of these for every battery size. Keeps your junk drawer clean. And these batteries actually click in. If you listen real quiet, they click in so they're not falling out. They have those little keeper tabs. You can get these on Amazon and check different colors. Sometimes like the OD green will be 
ten dollars and this one might be three um, so check the different variations but these are super handy anyway you don't need to dig into your battery drawer because this one came with a duracell this is actually the old duracell um so it's coming with a good battery that's sweet so this like i was saying i was trying to hide the instructions to make sure i don't flash my new code but this sits right in there's a keeper stud that attaches on the back of the outside portion of the lock it actually screws in and i'll show you in a second to this hole right here so let's let's make that real this is just a two-sided stud so this comes fixed in like this and all you want to do is screw this out as much as possible when you stick this through the door it's going to sit like that this this stud sticks out far enough that it catches this hole right here to hold the whole unit in place and i'll see if i can do that if i can illustrate that while i'm well here i'll just show you like this imagine the doors right here this is pinching in between you line this up correctly Ugh. and that little stud feeds through right there so while you're working on the back end this black plastic plate this stud just clips and holds it there while you're getting everything together you got to make sure you route your wiring correctly let's see if i can do that while i'm holding the camera sorry for the weird angles um, but this nine volt is going to clip in right here sit in there this wire you have to feed under the latch mechanism so in here this latch which i have another one i didn't use it's going to sit in there like that well like that you want to feed it underneath this not through it not above it the wire from the outside being this wire needs to sit underneath easy peasy then you connect these this two right here let's see if i can do it with one hand uh, i can't okay i can't um but that just feeds through super easy and then you route the wires in these channels. The instructions show you how, but all the wiring clips and hides in here. To program it, really, really easy. I just put in three codes in two minutes. So there's gonna be a six digit code that you put in here. Then you, it's called your programming code. You hit your six digit code, this lights up orange right here. Then you hit this button, it lights up blue. Then you hit the number one, and then you put in your four digit code. So whatever you want to put in then you it beeps three times then you put in your four digit code again it beeps and you're done okay awesome 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 lock super easy to install uh you can install it in the time it takes you to watch this video right now we're at eight minutes um you should be able to install it faster than that uh it comes with your catch for right here i just reused the old one it comes with all your hardware those are your screws to mount right here the screws to mount the catch your screws to mount these the, your phillips heads that go in there i just reused the old ones comes with everything you need the battery the latch highly recommend it great company great customer service better than expected in today's world um pretty durable last thing if you need to flip this handle so when i did it the handle was facing this way it would actually smack right there you take this little key you stick it in this hole right here Handle pops off, let's flip it around, just slam it back. Um, Schlage, what's the model number on this? Uh, let's see. It's your Schlage FE595. Awesome lock, awesome company. Highly recommended, my second one, and I'll be buying more. Another thing to mention, it comes with a key. So if your battery were to die, which mine lasted over two and a half years, you take this key, you can unlock it. You can also just use your overhead garage door if it's in that location. But it does come with an emergency key. So I got to remember to throw the old key out. Label this one as emergency garage key. Um, but it's a pretty cool system. Great lock.